Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to run through a quick tutorial showing you how you can insert a QR code into any Microsoft Office product, whether it's Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. Why would you ever wanna insert a QR code? Well, let's say that you're in Microsoft PowerPoint and you're presenting in front of an audience. At the very end of your presentation, you want people to fill out a survey or you want them to go to a certain website. Well, you could have people look at the website URL and type it into their phone, but that takes a long time and people might type in the wrong address and they might not get to your survey. Instead, what you could do is you could show a QR code, your audience members can hold up their phone and then easily navigate to that URL that you wanna share by using a QR code. Now, QR codes aren't natively available, meaning that they don't come out of the box with Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. Instead, we are going to use an add-in, and I'll show you step-by-step -step how you can do that. As full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. All right, well, let's jump, in, uh, let's jump on the PC and add a QR code. Here I am on my PC and I have the latest and greatest version of Microsoft PowerPoint open. This is the version that comes with Microsoft 365. However, as long as your version of Word, Excel, or PowerPoint supports add-ins, you should be able to add this add-in. So right here on my PowerPoint slide, let's say that I have a large slide deck that I'm presenting at, let's say, a conference. And on my very last slide, I wanna show a picture of myself with my YouTube address and maybe I ask Ask people, hey, if you enjoyed my presentation, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to me on YouTube? I could have people simply type in this URL in their web browser, but that seems like a lot of work. Instead, why don't I insert a QR code? To insert a QR code, what I do is I go up onto my bar on top, up on these pivots, and to insert, I click on the one that says insert. And if I go over into the middle here, I see two different options. One is get add-ins and the other is my add-ins. Now, in this case, I don't yet have the QR code insert app and so I'm gonna click on get add-ins however once I install it what I can do is I could click on the option that says my add-ins so let's go ahead and I'm gonna click on get add-ins and by default it's gonna drop me in the store view now just because it's called store doesn't mean you have to pay for it because this is a free add-in so what we could do is click on search and then simply type in QR and then hit the search icon the first one is the one we want. It's called QR for Office. It generates QR codes for us into any type of Office document. Uh, so let's go ahead and add this on. And so it's gonna ask me to agree to the license terms and the privacy policy. Seems reasonable to me. Let's click on continue. Once I click on continue, what you'll see happens is QR for Office pops up over on the right hand side. Now let's say I didn't yet have it open. What I could do is once again, I go up to insert and then I click on my add-ins. When I click on my add-ins, this pulls up all of my Office add-ins. And you'll see here that I have a new add-in on here called QR for Office. If I click on that and then click on add, that too will also open up this pane on the side. Now what I want to do is I have my photo here, I have the text down here, I want to insert a QR code right in this space. What I'm going to do is this is a website address, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight it, copy it with control C, and then I'm going to go ahead and paste it in here to generate a QR code. Now if I click over on this drop down list, you'll see all the different types of QR codes that I can insert. I could insert a website starting with HTTP or a secure website where I include the S. I I can insert a mail address, telephone, SMS, geo, or even a custom. In this case, it's a website URL, so I'm gonna go with HTTP colon forward slash forward slash, and then I typed in my YouTube URL. I have a few options here. I could set the color for my QR code. I could also set the background color, and I could even set the size. Now, I'm gonna be putting this on a slide, so I want it to be pretty large. And here I could see approximately what it's going to look like. I see how many pixels. So this will be 290 by 290 pixels, and this is where it's gonna take people. And once I'm satisfied with that, I could click on Insert, and then it inserts a QR code onto my slide. I'll position it right here next to my photo. This will be a nice way to finish up my presentation. And now let me pull out my phone and I'll show you how this works. 
So here I have my phone open, I have my iPhone, and I'm gonna click into the camera app and I'm gonna aim it at my slide and right away it detects that there is a QR code and it's telling me to open it in YouTube and so I'm gonna click on OK and it drops me directly on my YouTube page just like I expected. Here I am back on my PC in PowerPoint and like I said before, you could use this QR code generator not only in PowerPoint but in any Microsoft Office app. I'm gonna open up Word and here I've also inserted a QR code into Microsoft Word and I'm gonna pull up Microsoft Excel and here too I've also inserted a QR code now the nice thing is you could use this QR code generator you could even copy it here and paste it elsewhere uh, you could put it in whatever type of file that you want you could save it as an image all right well that was a quick tutorial of how you could insert QR codes into Word Excel or PowerPoint and this way you can make it really easy for your audience to get to whatever type of destination you want them to go to without needing to type in any type of long address. If this video helped you learn how you could create your own QR code, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see future videos like this, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below. I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.